I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. According to Wikipedia, the capture of HMS Macedonian was a naval action fought near Madeira on the 25th of October 1812 between the heavy frigate USS United States, commanded by Stephen Decatur, and the frigate HMS Macedonian, under the command of John Sermon Carden. The American vessel won the long bloody battle, capturing and bringing Macedonian back to the United States. It was the first British warship to ever be brought into an American harbor. The United States declared war on the United Kingdom on the 18th of June, 1812. United States, the frigate Congress, and the brig Argus joined Commodore John Rogers' squadron at New York City and put to sea immediately, cruising off the East Coast until the end of August. The squadron again sailed on the 8th of October, 1812, this time from Boston. Three days later, after capturing Mandarin, United States parted company and continued to cruise eastward. USS United States was the first of six original frigates of the United States Navy completed in 1797. She was a then-modern heavy frigate design, which was intended to be powerful enough to defeat any contemporary French or British frigate, whilst still being fast enough to evade any opposing ship of the line. Rated as a 44-gun vessel, the primary armament was 32 24-pounder cannon mounted on the main gun deck. She had seen action during the Quasi-War of 1898 to 1800, capturing several small French vessels. HMS Macedonian was a lively class frigate of the Royal Navy's fifth rate. This was a successful design that had been used since 1804. Macedonian was the 11th ship in the class, launched in 1810, just two years before the battle. Officially rated with 38 guns, the main armament was 28 18-pounder cannon, she had not previously seen action. Although Macedonian was larger than the fifth-rate frigates used in earlier conflicts, such as the American Revolutionary War, she was still significantly smaller and more lightly armed than the United States. The American vessel's broadside totaled 864 pounds of shot, whilst the British vessel was only 528 pounds. The 24-pounders on the United States also had a longer effective range. The United States was the larger and more solidly built of the two, with 1,576 tons burthen, as opposed to Macedonian's 1,082 tons burthen. The United States also carried a larger crew. At dawn on the 25th of October, 500 miles south of the Azores, lookouts on board United States reported seeing a sail 12 miles to windward. As the ship rose over the horizon, Captain Decatur made out the fine, familiar lines of HMS Macedonian, which was on its way to its station in the West Indies. 
Both ships were immediately cleared for action and commenced maneuvers at 0900 hours. Captain Carden elected not to risk crossing the bows of United States to rake her, but chose instead to haul closer to the wind on a parallel course with the American vessel. For his part, Decatur intended to engage Macedonian from fairly long range, whereas 24-pounders would have the advantage over the British 18-pounders, and then move in for the kill. The actual battle developed according to Decatur's plan. United States began the action at O 920 hours by firing an inaccurate broadside. This was answered immediately by the British vessel, bringing down a small spar of United States. Decatur's next broadside had better luck, as it destroyed Macedonian's mizzen top mast, letting her driver gaff fall, and so giving the maneuvering advantage to the American frigate. United States next took up position off Macedonian's quarter and proceeded to riddle the hapless frigate methodically with shot. She hailed Macedonian, demanding the name of her antagonist and whether or not she surrendered. By noon, Macedonian was a dismantled hulk. When United States closed for another broadside, Cardin was forced to strike her colors and surrender. She had had over 100 round shot lodged in her hull and suffered over 100 casualties, one third of her crew, while United States only suffered 12. Because of the great range of the guns aboard United States, she got off 70 broadsides to Macedonian's 30 and emerged from the battle relatively unscathed. The two ships lay alongside each other for over two weeks while Macedonian was repaired sufficiently to sail. United States and her prize arrived at Newport, Rhode Island on the 4th of December, amid tumultuous national jubilation over the spectacular victory. Wherever they went, Captain Decatur and his crew were lionized and received special praise from both Congress and President James Madison. Macedonian was subsequently purchased by the United States Navy and was renamed USS Macedonian. It had a long and honorable career under the American flag. After repairs, United States sailed from New York on the 24th of May, 1813, accompanied by USS Macedonian and the sloop Hornet. On the 1st of June, the three vessels were driven into New London, Connecticut by the 74-gun ship HMS Valiant and the 40-gun frigate HMS Acosta, and United States and Macedonian were kept blockaded there until the end of the war. However, Decatur was transferred to the frigate president in the spring of 1814, and he took the officers and crew of United States with him to his new command. Hornet managed to slip through the blockade on the 14th of November, 1814, and escaped to sea. But Decatur and the president were not as fortunate as they were captured by the blockading force on the 14th of January, 1815. Yeah, let's go. I'm unstoppable, yeah. do the impossible. Right. I'm irresponsible, oh. yeah, I'm phenomenal. Yeah. I got an arsenal, oh, yeah. I'm dropping bombs, you know. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not stopping, no. Let's go. Conquer yeah. the obstacle. Yeah. To the top, here I go, think I'm chosen To be the king of rock, think the people have spoken I can hear the tick-tock of the clock, I'm in motion So now I'm gonna pop, causing all this commotion Yeah, yeah. sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable Yeah, ready to go, man, lock and load That's right, I swear to God that I could drop you, bro I got a shot and I ain't stopping though That's how I know that I'm unstoppable I'ma do this thing my way Let's go. Been grinding hard on it all day okay. We work hard, then we all play yeah. I'm addicted to the crime, man That's right. So I refuse to waste time, man yeah. One day it all will be fine, man Let's go. Gotta commit to the crime, You know man. we're back with the Guinness Setting records every minute Every track in addiction 
to the fact that we're winning Still we lack, something's missing, need a track That is hitting, making yeah. racks, making millions oh, yeah. Yeah. Rest, that's yeah. the mission yeah. I don't waste time, no I make time All these people wanna hate fine, I'ma make mine While you sitting there complaining, I'll be training While you sitting there just waiting, I'm creating Yeah, yeah. 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 sometimes I think that I'm unstoppable Yeah Bye. <laughs>